Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you a collection of items I've purchased over the last month or two. Here are the beauty items. Most of these were purchased from Sephora and Amazon. I'm starting with my purchases from Sephora. These three items from Fresh were on sale, so I took advantage of that. These next three were purchased at regular price. I ran out of eye cream, so I decided to try something new. The Peace Out Eye Stick is only for nighttime use, but I've heard great things, so I decided to purchase that. And I purchased Saturday Skin, the Wide Awake Eye Cream for daytime. This one has avocado, which is brightening. The Niacinamide Serum I've used in the past, it helps with acne scars and acne breakouts, so I'm restocking on that. So those were the purchases and everything else you're seeing was free. Either samples, rewards, or free gifts. So here are the samples that I got. These three were all purchased with um, my reward points, so they were free. This one, the Dior Backstage, I've wanted to try. It's like an illuminator. Um, the Sunday Rally CEO cream I've used before and Dermalogica I've also used and I want to take it for my next trip. These were all free gifts with purchase. So Kerastos is a luxury brand. I haven't tried these before so I'm excited to try. The Faded Topical Serum is always sold out and it's new to Sephora. Um, and I saw that they had a free gift I think with purchase of $25. So I decided to just get the free gift with purchase instead of purchasing the full tube. It's supposed to be great for acne and acne scars and just helping even out your skin tone. So I'm super excited to try that and I'm glad I didn't have to pay for it. I also like that it's a smaller size so I don't have to worry about having it open for so long because it does take me a while to get through masks because I have so many. This next glow recipe duo, I've been wanting to try the retinol eye cream as well but since i had already purchased the other two i figured i'll just get a mini size and try that out so the kerastas set i think was free with the purchase of 35 dollars so i purchased like one or two things and then i added that to it and then the topicals faded was free with 25 dollar purchase so again purchase something that's up to 25 dollars and then just add that so I made three different transactions to get the serum and then the Glow Recipe Duo was free with a $25 purchase. So I did make a few different purchases in order to get the free gifts. And before my only concern was packaging, I was like not being environmentally friendly. Now as long as you order within like, I'm not sure if it's the same day or within the, like the same few minutes, hours, I'm not sure. But I ordered it right away back to back and it ships in the same box so that was really cool. I also purchased this lip set from... The sale section. I love the Pat McGrath um, lipsticks. I have a lipstick and um, a lip balm already so I wanted to try that. So this was actually in my wish list and I noticed it went on sale. It comes in this super cute bag that's good for travel. So this mirror is from Vanity Planet. It's a travel mirror. It's about iPad size like pretty small like a mini um, and it has a cover so it's really cool. You don't have to worry about it breaking but you know when you're in hotels or like Airbnbs they don't always have the best lighting so it's cool to have this to do your makeup. And moving on to the lashes. Ardell Wispies are one of my favorites like ever like I'll, it'll always be my go-to. I purchased these on Amazon as a set. Save some money and then these are really cool. I'm probably gonna have a separate video of it. It's like ponytail extensions so i'm really excited to create some looks using that and then finally got my hands on the il maquillage um products so i purchased the foundation and concealer and then i got a free gift um of an eyeliner so the way this works is you take a quiz online and they color match you um and apparently it's supposed to be like a perfect color match and it's supposed to be the best foundation like you'll love it it always pops up as an ad on my instagram so i've been tempted to try it but i just didn't know if it was worth it or if it would be a good color match so i'll keep you guys posted on that i'm probably going to make a separate video as well so those are all the beauty purchases amazon il maquillage sephora and vanity planet and then back to this fresh fresh was um the whole line I think was about 25% off at Sephora, probably because they're rebranding, but I noticed that this um, serum was on sale and it was in my wish list as well. So that's something you could do to save some money. If you like something, put it in your wish list and just keep an eye on it 
I feel like all products will eventually go on sale. Okay, so that's enough beauty and now moving on to like random home stuff that I got. I'm super into like artisan handcrafted soaps right now. So I purchased that at the OC open market and then I found these um, soap dishes at a vegan market in Santa Ana as well as these little satchels. It's just like a lavender mix so it's good for like pets, fleas, or just a tight space to keep it nice and fresh. This little bowl and ring I found out also at the open market and I'm gonna use a bowl to put rings in it. This candle vendor, I found her on Instagram and I've purchased from her before and I did really love the candle so I'm excited for these scents because I'm all about citrusy and like summery scents so can't wait to light that up. This body lotion was purchased from the same market in Anaheim it's just a small business vendors. It smells amazing. I'm gonna keep this in my car because I always forget to put lotion on. And then this last purchase is from Mega Babe. I use their deodorant and it's one of my favorite like all natural deodorants. So I wanted to try a few other things from the brand. So I purchased these wipes, um, a butt mask, which is interesting. I've never done that before. And then with new shoes, especially like during summer, like some type of sandals, rubbery stuff, I feel like your feet start to smell so i purchased this oh and then i totally forgot i bought this cute little polaroid frame from the open market as well okay and finally some random other things that i got i have two bags here i've been wanting to purchase for a while but they're just very limited and always sold out this clear gucci one is made using vintage designer bags so she purchases cleans it and then makes it into something else and it comes with the strap so i can use it as like a like long shoulder bag and then this one is super cute it's a knot bag i purchased it in mini so it pretty much just fits like my card holder and my keys but i'm really excited to finally get my hands on that and last but not least we have some shoes i never thought i would purchase crocs but i saw that they have platform crocs and i love anything platform so i looked into it and found these really cute ones and i also purchased these like sandal heels which are super cute but i have no business buying heels because i never wear heels so we'll see when i get to wear them they're pretty comfortable my foot doesn't slide forward and the heel's not too big and now moving back to the crocs i bought two two different types of platforms so this platform is about like twice the size of a regular croc super cute super comfortable i feel like the platform adds like such a big touch and it looks so different than just the classic croc and of course i had to get black ones as well because i wear black shoes all the time so this black one has a bigger platform and if you look at them in comparison the black one is obviously taller um, and the design is a little bit different to accommodate for the platform so they're both very different different colors obviously different style and i feel like they both look different than just your average croc and of course i had to buy these little like pins i don't know what they're called so this is the last bit of the haul and now i'm just going to show you guys what i did to the crocs so here are the purple ones with the small platform and then the black ones with the taller platform and i'm 5'7 so wearing platforms i have to be careful not to like be super tall and these are perfect so here's the purple ones like super girly and cute girl power type of thing and then the black ones are more my vibe lit all about the money let's get this bag so here they are what do you guys think of the crocs let me know which ones you prefer the shorter platform or the taller platform so that wraps up the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this is my first haul video so let me know what you guys thought if you would like to see things displayed differently um any comments or feedback you have drop it in the comment section. Let me know which ones were your favorite Crocs and if you own Crocs because I thought I would never and here I am purchasing two different ones. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.